e-bikes have been through some rough old times. Now this has largely been the result of the cut and shut approach by some brands, trying to wedge a motor into a frame, rather than create a mountain bike system where there's unity between motor, battery and frame geometry. Now what we all want is something really simple, something fun to use, easy to maintain and, let's face it, great to look at. We want an e-bike that we want to be proud of rather than embarrassed about. We want an e-bike that you can skip through the terrain and not be dragged around. Some brands have already got it. They've created that classic mountain bike silhouette, but much, much more potent. It seems the evolution of the e-mountain bike is well underway then. Fully integrated, all action, all e-bike. And no more so than this Canyon Spectral On. Now many of the key e-bike developments are taking place in mainland Europe, in Germany especially, but we're here in arguably one of the hot spots of e-bike action in the south of France, where e-bikes are actually taking pole position in the mid-travel market. Now the guys at Canyon wanted us to show you their first ever EMTB, the Spectral On. And it's here in the south of France that we're doing just that with the first look and ride of this bike. Okay, so a bit of background about Canyon. Well, it was only a few years ago they won the first ever EWS with Fabian Burrell. And just so recently, they designed and developed the Canyon Sender, a bike that has now won a World Cup downhill. But this e-bike could well mark the beginning of a new era for the German brand. So Canyon, they make some amazing bikes. They make some successful bikes. But what is it that goes into the perfect e-bike? Well, it's such things as fit, geometry, sizing, componentry that's up for the job, plus those two important points, such as what it looks like and the pricing. So what is it then? Well, it's pretty much a 150mm mountain bike in every respect. Yeah, right. No, this is quite different. Check out the wheel sizes. You've got a 29-inch wheel up front and a 27.5 at the back. This is quite different to the normal. And it's not just a philosophy. It's there for practical reasons too. Up front is a 30mm rim, on the rear is 35. Now, I can only imagine that that big 29 wheel is going to be rolling through those collisions up front. And on the rear, that 35mm rim with a big chunky tyre is there for strength, stability and grip. Okay, let's talk about the heart of the matter, the frame and the motor. Now, the Shimano step system is really small and compact. And what this does, it allows frame designers not to be compromised with space. They can make shorter chain stays, they can lower the bottom brackets and create a really dynamic ride to the e-bike. Now it's not just the frame or the motor that Canyon have agonised over with its bike. It's the attention to detail in terms of componentry. Now an e-bike is quite likely to get more wear and more use than a non-e-bike, so the message here is strength and reliability. And all over this bike is some good attention to detail, things such as the wheels, the tyres, the drivetrain, the seat and the brakes. In short, Canyon say this bike is simple, precise and dynamic. This then is the Spectral On. Let's get rolling. Right, let's talk suspension. Um, four models in the range, all 150 front, 150 rear, apart from this one, which has got 160 fork on it. Now, the message from Canyon is it's three-phase suspension. Sensitivity, stability, and then progression at the end. What does this mean on the trail? The sensitivity gives you that grip in the corners. It also provides traction on the super steep climbs. 
When it comes to stability, now this is important when it comes to weight distribution, keeping the front and the rear tire loaded equally, which is really important in corners. And then of course you have the progression at the end. When you're clattering down to those big rock sections, you don't want the rear, rear to bottom out badly. Now we talked earlier about the Shimano step system in terms of integration and weight, but what about the features? Well, it's compact, it's natural, it's tunable, it's simple, it's quiet. I mean, it still has the kind of key things such as battery level, the range and what gear you're in. I mean, critically, with Shimano Steps, it enables you to focus on the trail and not on focusing on going up and down the buttons all day long. Okay, so what do we think of the non-integrated battery? Well, look, it can almost fit in my hand. Now, this is really key if you're traveling, if you can have if you've got an integrated battery, it means you're going to take the bike into the room. Whereas if you've got a detachable battery, all you're going to take is that. Also, you could easily take a spare one of them on a massive two-day trip. Um, what's really interesting about this battery is that it's meant for charging up to a thousand times minimum. And if you think about it, if you do say 30 Ks per ride, and that motor is designed to take a thousand charges, that is a monumental amount of riding before you change the motor or battery huge part of this bike. Geometry and sizing. There's a great range from extra small to extra large. So there's something in there for everybody. In terms of geometry, it's adjustable. You can either have a bike with a slightly steeper head angle and higher bottom bracket for more climbing, or you can go for a slightly slacker and lower bike, a lower bottom bracket, which combined with that 430 mil chainstay is gonna make for a storming bike on those downhill runs. In all, it's an all-action e-bike. Now that covers things as far as introductions go to Canyon's first e-bike, but do you know what? I'm desperate to go and drain that battery and really get involved in some of the amazing trails here in the south of France. Oh, it's getting a bit cold. Clock behind me says 20 past five. I've been riding this bike since nine o'clock this morning. And apart from the half an hour lunch break, it's been a totally intense ride. Behind me, we came down a track where Canyon do World Cup downhill bike testing. And ahead of me, we've gone up into the clouds riding technical trails, which are difficult to walk up, let alone take a bike up. So how did the bike ride? Do you know what? It did not miss a beat all day long. I didn't actually notice the difference between the 29 inch wheel front and the 27.5 rear. What I did notice was how much grip that 2.8 gave me on some of those huge, huge climbs. Uh, what else? It was totally silent. It didn't kind of have no rattles, no nothing. It was great. Um, Shimano motor, faultless. Uh, gearing, didn't miss a beat either. Really noticed how important those 200 mil rotors were and the four pop pistons. You really needed them when you're coming down massive hills like that. The seat's a nice touch. That was good when you're kind of digging in on those climbs. Uh, bars were a good width. Motor was totally silent. GT wheels kind of, you know, really tough units there. Kind of, we went through some huge kind of collisions with some rocks on those mountains. And what about the overall dynamic of the bike? The kind of the geometry and the sizing? Yeah, I think it was perfect. I rode an XL. Uh, I could actually have ridden an L as well, I think. Head angle, bottom bracket. The bottom bracket is pretty low, so it enables you to really kind of slash into those corners. Overall, yeah, totally happy with this Canyon Spectral on. I think, uh, I think they've done a grand job of it. So yeah, there you go. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see some more e-bike action, click over here on how to set up your e-bike and maybe click over here for a good feature on e-bikes versus downhill bikes. Uh, and yeah, please don't forget to subscribe.